Fine, fuck it, we'll do it live. Hi folks and welcome to Open Analysis Live. So what you're about to watch is a quick clip from a Twitch stream that we did last Thursday. And just a reminder, we are streaming a lot on Twitch now every Thursdays and Sundays at one o'clock Eastern. Every week we stream on Twitch and the recordings of these streams are usually posted on our Patreon for our subs. But in this case, I thought it'd be helpful just to share this clip with everybody because I know a lot of people are talking about obfuscation. There's a lot of obfuscated malware out there right now. And everyone wants to know what is control flow flattening? How do you link that concept? to IDA, I understand the concept, but I don't understand what I'm looking at in assembly, et cetera, et cetera. So with that, let's just jump into this. It's a quick explanation of how control flow flattening works using MS Paint. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope it clears up a few things for those of you who are new to learning about obfuscation. Hope to see you on stream sometime soon. And remember, sub on Patreon if you wanna see the full recording uh, for all of our streams and our in-depth tutorials. All right, enjoy. Yeah, we're in MS Paint 98, exactly. So we have our entry point we have what we're gonna call our, we're gonna call this our dispatcher. And we have our original code blocks down at the bottom here. Just make this nice and simple. So this is original code. A, this is original code, B, and this is original code, C, right? So originally, these guys were all just connected to each other, right? So this would just look like a normal, um, do we have, a, I don't know if we have a normal function here. Let me, um, so there we go, you guys can see here. So. Here we have a function that's not obfuscated and you can see each basic block basically has uh, some control flow. You know, you can, you have a jump and it'll either go here or here. Um, that's how a basic block is determined. It's determined basically um, by when you have a jump statement. Sorry guys. Yeah, there you go. Um, so you basically have, uh, your basic blocks are separated by jump statements and then each one of them, there's some condition or maybe there's an un no condition and I'll jump to the next basic block. Now, again, I expect pretty much everybody on the stream has seen this a million times. This is what control flow looks like for, um, for compiled code. You might've just never heard the term control flow, but basically that's what we're talking about. We're talking about how to get from one basic block to the next, right? So this is a normal, uh, this is a normal function that hasn't been obfuscated. If we were to apply control flow flattening, each one of these basic blocks would then become these ones at the bottom and they would no longer be attached to each other. Instead, what you would have is you would have them routing. Wow, <laughs> that wasn't good. You'd have them routing back and forth between a single dispatcher, right? So now instead of being attached to each other, they're attached to this thing called the dispatcher. And this looks pretty much exactly like what we have here, right? So I've just recreated that here and hopefully explained to you where these original code blocks come from. So looking at this, I should probably connect that up as well. So looking at this, um, one thing that is certain, it's very obvious, is that the code in here is not relevant to the operation of the original program. This has been added simply to replace the control flow that originally connected all of the basic blocks, right? So that means that if we're going to get back the original shape of the obfuscation or the, of the control flow, we're gonna to need to connect these guys to each other instead of to the dispatcher. And we're gonna to need to remove all of this dispatcher code. So that's basically what we're going to attempt to do today, but there's one little problem, and that's that this doesn't look like this, right? You might have noticed if you look at our, uh, let's go back here. If you look at our main, this doesn't look at all like this, right? This looks crazy. Why? Basically, inside the dispatcher, 
in our code, unfortunately, the sample that we were given, the one that I thought we probably shouldn't start with because it's crazy hard, is we have all kinds of other motherfucking basic blocks. So this is what our code really looks like. And these guys are all connected to each other in a mumble jumble way. And that's what we actually have, right? So this is the, you know, this is what we're dealing with. Instead of a nice clean dispatcher, we have all kinds of basic blocks. Now this dispatcher thing is just a concept. It's just a concept that we've applied to the, uh, to the uh, code that we're looking at here. So what we can do is in reality, we can remove this. And now you guys will start to see this looks like what we're dealing with, right? That looks a lot more like this, right? But you say, wait a minute, it doesn't. What, you got all the basic blocks here is right. It's not just one, it's all kinds of them, but they're not connected to each other. What, you know, this is a lie. This, that's not what I'm seeing at all on the screen. I'm seeing a whole bunch of individual basic blocks and they're not connected to each other at all, right? Why? Well, this shit sandwich that we've been given to eat today has another layer of obfuscation. Another one. And this layer of obfuscation is called, uh, I don't know if opaque predicate is the right word for it, but that's the word I'm going to use. Basically, instead of these being nice, clean jump connections, J M P. No, 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 no. What we have instead is a stupid table of jumps. JMP address one. Oops, ADDR one. ADDR two. ADDR three. Blah, 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 blah. In memory. And instead of being Instead of jumping between these, our disgusting sample has decided that each time one of these intermediate blocks wants to jump to another intermediate block, it will first, where's my little pencil here? It will first look up where it needs to jump to and then jump back to whatever block it needs to jump to. So. This now looks a lot like what you see here, right? However, we must always keep in mind the original concept, which is that all of this stuff here is one big dispatcher. This can be removed. Hey, what's going on, NeoX Quick? NeoX Quick. Um, this can be removed here. We can get rid of this first and by getting rid of it we will connect each one of these basic blocks to each other and once we've done that we can then see how these guys connect to each other and we can remove this and thus connect these guys to each other however they are originally connected so that's what we're trying to do today that's the whole um you know that's that's the whole story uh, unfortunately, like I said before, we are starting, if you imagine obfuscation as a pyramid, we are starting here, not down here. So it is what it is. Nice.